I am doing chores and you are coming with me. All right, so I get asked pretty often kind of what a typical day looks like. Uh, it varies for me because I travel for work, but on a day that I'm home and on a day where I have like snake cleaning chores and like water changing chores, I just kind of wanted to go through what that looks like. Um, we have quite a few animals in our care. I think we're at 34 animals total, including that's including the clutch of 23 babies. So, so yeah, let's see what it takes to to kind of do our daily upkeep with them. So right now I'm doing water changes. This is Stella's house. She's she's in blue, I'll show you in a second. So my husband came up with this handy dandy little system where it's water bucket, dump the old water in the water bucket, dump the new water in the bowl. So it's very efficient. Um, we do have a bathroom down here, which I'm very grateful for, but it is a little bit of a distance from most of the enclosures. So this works really well. Whenever I do grab her bowl out, to check in on ice pods. There's a baby scampering around here somewhere. But she has a pretty healthy colony of ice pods. Oh, there it is. I was trying to find, find out where it is. Um, they like to hang out either underneath this water bowl or under cork bark. So, and fresh water. Something else I always do, I do this on the daily, but especially when I'm changing water, I make sure that I check in on all of the critters. Since I'm touching every single enclosure, I always try and get eyes, if not hands, on all of the animals when I do that. So Stella is in shed. Oh, see, look at all those ice pods. We've been feeding her weekly since she has come off of her clutch, so she's pooping a lot which is great, and the ice pods are very happy. Hi, honey bun. Oh, she's such a potato. Potato girl, hopefully she'll shed soon. And quite often, I have the kiddos out with me. April's out right now. She's begging to come out, and she's, hi, where are you going? Are you gonna help me clean with it? <laughs> what are you doing? I already changed his water. Tweet peeking his face out. What? Silly. Okay, Ugh, it's dirty. So I have his water bowl tucked back, oh, that's the wrong way, tucked back under here. It's underneath this shelf, so it kind of helps uh, keep a little less substrate in there when he's climbing around, which is handy. And his corn plant is doing well. Like he squished this leaf, but there's like new growth and stuff, so. So yeah, here's something nifty. And one of the reasons I like to check, if you keep him bioactive, you might get mushrooms um, mushrooms are not a bad thing they're a sign that your little ecosystem is pretty darn healthy but i prefer to just pluck them out that's just my preference i know keepers that do leave them in there um but i pluck them out all right let's pluck these bad boys out there's not a lot of them in here and there we go easy as pie very often, your eight-foot python goes on top of your boa stack. <gasps> I'm trying to snag her, and she's just like, nope, I am still adventuring. I ain't coming out. You didn't come out. Come down. I guess you're already out. Come on. Can I put you back? You're being very distracting. Troublemaker. I'm attempting to put her back so I can finish cleaning and changing waters, and she is being very insistent. She doesn't want to go back. No, are you still play tiny? Okay, I'll leave your door open. This is why it takes me so long to change waters. Yeah. Because of you. Oh, <laughs> tickled her. Oh, it's okay. Sorry, sweetie pie. She's just using me as a perch. Yeah, bro. Her ladder's here too, but she's just preferring arm perch. Can I have you back? Can I have my arm back? How am I doing? All right. I got my arm back. It is no longer her perch, so moving on. I'm almost done with this room. I need to clean the shelf on Aries house get him moved um but yeah 
Okay, then. Here, let's see if I can lure his butt out with water. Hey, buddy. Need some water? Hey, you thirsty? Come on. Come on. Only snake being lured with water. He has water in here, you guys. I promise. He's just a lazy bum, and I spoil him. <laughs> this is how he prefers getting water. Look at him. Buddy. You're ridiculous. All right, this is the last stack before the baby room. Um, but I wanted to share, so these are the uh, Zoomed, yeah, Zoomed water dishes, which I really enjoy. They're actually really easy to clean, but something I've noticed about them, and I don't know if it's the bowls or just the, like, keeping environment, but they collect, like, algae really easily. Um, so that's one of the, one of the reasons I change the water so often, um, just because it collects algae so fast. But, um, again, super easy to clean, and I, I have a feeling it's something to do with the husbandry and like, yeah. So I need to figure that out. If you have any tips, let me know. Yeah, see, Centaurus does that too. Like, there's algae in there. And it's like, yeah, just gets grimy. Again, I think it's just my husbandry. Um, yes, she is hanging out while I do that. She's not in food mode, she's in curious chill mode. So I am totally comfortable doing this with her. <laughs> Did you get paper towel on your face? And that's part of the reason why. Your face is so sensitive. You okay? Good girl. And I always get little Miss Pip's water too. It's actually been very out in the opening lately. Look at how pretty she is. Yeah, I just totally cleaned her water dish. So, although, did you? She does like to poop in it and pee in it, so. All right, we're gonna clean that. Had to take a break from water change to feed these kiddos. Jasper, that's Jasper. He's cray cray. Cleo, that's Cleo. She's our rescue kiddo. We also have something eating our collard greens. Nah, we need to fix that. Ready for dinner? Oh my gosh, is it dinner time? <laughs> the cat's about to scream at me too. Oh yeah, this is our upstairs. I'm going the wrong way. Tank potty bags back up. Get in. Mammals have been fed, including me, so we just have the babies left. All right, so you have 23 of these bad boys to change. Um, it's not too bad, it goes pretty fast. Um, it would go faster if I just focused on changing water instead of getting distracted by cute babies. But I mean, I can't miss it. sweetie. I'm gonna time check you. Cool, 87, awesome, awesome. So these water bowls are the ones that Jody showed everyone last week. They have the little hide underneath them. And they're quite handy. Um, often what I'll do, especially if they're feeling a little like drier, I will just use the water, whoops, and water their, a plant or two with their water. Look at how cute you are. Ah. That was splooshy. So yeah, I fill it. Usually not that full, but I'm filming at the same time, so clumsy. And yeah, one down, 22 to go. Hi. Oh, cutie, are you nervous? Are you nervous, Noodle? Oh, here, we can water a plant. Or that one. It's okay. Are you scared? Yeah, it's okay. So one of the things I do while I am changing waters is I use this as an opportunity to work with the babies. Um, I'm not gonna work with them too, too much today because they got fed on Sunday. So two days ago, um, I mean, I think they're okay, but so that's my finger, hi, hi. Oh, that's uh, still my finger. I'm trying to uh, record, come here. Oh, are we, are we nervous? Come here, oh, we're so mad. 
Oh, it's okay. All right, let me get this baby out. All right, we did it. These little guys are also in shed. I think this one went through blue and is about to shed. So it's just super, super sensitive, which is fine. Um, I still like to get them out and give them like a positive association, especially if they're being defensive in their enclosure. Oh yeah, good job, sweetie. So Stella Jr., Stella Jr. Sweetie, are you asleep? Hi, babe, I don't wanna startle you. Hi, what you doing? She's like, what? What? You're out of blue too. Yeah, she hasn't shed yet, but she's out of blue. Oh yeah, hi, oh, I'm only still a little in blue. Hi, sweet ups. Yeah, you go, girl. Somebody thinks more food is happening. Hi, do you think it's food time? Not food time. Gonna boop your water? Boop. It's not food time. Oh my gosh, look at your face. You're so hopeful. It's not food time, sweetie. It's really not. Look how pretty she is. Hi. All the platy and Mollies are female from this clutch. Watch out. Watch out. I don't want to push you. Oh my gosh, we're so, oh, we're so full. We're so full of sass tonight. Hi. It's okay. Did you just literally. Come here. Come here. Oh my goodness. We're sass. We are sass. <laughs> Hi, are you sassy bean? Oh, we're trying to climb on the phone. Oh, 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 can we hang on to me? Oh my gosh, silly girl. Come here. They usually calm down pretty fast. Yeah, she didn't strike at all. Good job. Hello, <laughs> Cooper. Jeez, now I'll watch. Do you go back in? Quit. <laughs> you didn't want to come out and I don't want to go back in. Can you go back in? <laughs> Look at her. You silly. Go. I'm trying to do this with one hand, and it's not very effective. All right, are we hanging out? Okay. Starburst. Hi, sweetie. She's one of my favorites from this clutch. She's so sweet. Hi. Oh, no, oh, have a stick. What are you doing? Oh, you're you in shed. Yeah. Hi. Good girl. They're the little hopeful faces peeking out. Like, does you just have food? I have more food for you, sweetie. I'm glad you're hungry though. So you didn't want to eat before. So cute. Look at this silly. What are you doing, buddy? They hanging out? <laughs> Did you get too excited? Oh no, are you embarrassed? Did you fall? Come here. Come here, buddy. Oh my gosh, you okay? Did you fall? Did you fall down? Where's your face? Here it is. Hi. Silly dude. He's like, nothing? You didn't see nothing. What am I talking about? All right, and that is it. The only thing I didn't really show was changing the upstairs water. Cogs and Iris, um, our scrap python and our Brazilian rainbow boa are both upstairs. Um, I change those every other day as well, but I just didn't catch them on film because I changed them this morning. So yeah, it really doesn't take that long. Uh, like I said, it just I get distracted by working with and playing with the animals. Um, so, so yeah, I hope that was, I don't know, entertaining, helpful. It's probably neither because I didn't know what to film this week, but yeah, um, obviously it would go faster if I didn't get so distracted, but you know, the distraction is half the fun for me. And that is it for this week's horribly edited video. Um, like and subscribe <laughs> if you'd be so kind. It helped us out a lot. Um, I am making a valiant effort to upload every week and yeah, I will catch you next time. Bye.